Here's an animation of a centrifugal pump. It's not a uh, CFD type animation where we're seeing the exact trajectory of the fluid particles. It's an, it's an artistic uh, interpretation, but I think you'll, uh, you'll see uh, equally well what's going on within this uh, pump. So we have the pump turning. The impeller blades have this curve shape, right? That's the first thing we notice is that the curve is going uh, clockwise. Perhaps we ought to think that just curve the blade should be in the reverse order, but no, this is the way a centrifugal pump works. So we have the fluid coming into the eye of the impeller, turning 90 degrees and going into the space between these between two impeller veins. So it's rapidly moved, accelerated, since the pump is turning very fast, to the outside of the casing, where it's going traveling towards the discharge. The casing gets a little bit bigger, it's got this spiral shape called a volute, and its function is to slow the liquid down to create pressure. So as we know, if we, inject, if we create velocity pressure, velocity energy, and we, um, we reduce that energy, then it's going to go into pressure energy. So that's how we, we inject the energy into fluid, we create velocity energy, and, and reduce that energy through the casing to get pressure energy, so we get nice a strong pressure at the uh, discharge of the pump. Pump manufacturers will provide information on their pumps in, in terms of a curve. This curve shows head on the vertical axis and flow on the horizontal axis. The characteristic is that the head starts high and drops as the flow increases. Um, the flow increases uh, to a point where we have minimum head. If we try to operate the pump at the minimum head, it's not going to be a happy to operate. It'll shake, it will cavitate, it's not a good region to operate. Same thing applies if we go towards a shutoff head, which is at zero flow. If we shut the flow off uh, the discharge of the pump, then the, in, the fluid would recirculate inside the pump, it'll overheat, it'll damage the pump. So there's a comfortable area in between where we have the highest efficiency and that's where we want to operate. So once we've determined the head of our system and the flow rate, that we need, we'll go to a catalog, we'll talk to a manufacturer, and, they'll, and we'll find a pump size and motor that will make us operate, or that'll be suitable to operate in that particular region. For good bigger industrial pumps, we get curves that have a series of impeller sizes, because you can order a pump with a smaller impeller or a bigger impeller, depending on your operating conditions. But it's, uh, it's very similar to the curve I just showed you before, and we still need to operate within that central region. Nowadays, we're um, often operating pumps with variable speed drives. So these curves that are showing different impeller sizes would then be curves at different speeds. So we get a very convenient uh, ability to change our head and flow by dialing up the uh, speed on the variable speed drive. Why do manufacturers use head? as the main characteristic of their pump? Well, there's two reasons. One is that head, or total head, is made up of the static head plus friction head. Static head is very easy to measure. You got in the field and you can measure uh, surface levels of tanks and, and what have you. Friction head is easily calculated in terms of feet. And on top of it, well, static head is often the most uh, important or significant component of total head. So it's very, uh, it's very easy and, uh, for everyone to use uh, head as a, as a characteristic. The other reason is that head is independent of density. We know that pressure equals head times specific gravity over 2.31. Specific gravity is the density. So that head, you see right away, that number is independent of density. Pressure is not. Pressure does depend on density. So that's, that's equally very good for the manufacturer because he doesn't know what type of liquid you're going to be pumping. You could be pumping oil, you could be pumping a, a heavy slurry. So for, from his point of view, it doesn't matter. His number of head is independent of the density of your liquid. So that's also a very good reason that makes it attractive for him to use head as the main characteristic of uh, centrifugal pumps.